Hey everybody, this is John Fessmeyer, MFA candidate in 3D modeling at Academy of Art University, working on my thesis, Bodacious Creed. Um, and you can read more about it at my blog uh, and on the main channel page here. Anyway, uh, I just want to show a little bit of what I've been doing this week. So here's some concept art for Creed, uh, done by Joshua Stewart, who, who did all my concept art. And uh, one of the things is, is Creed has this heart unit that keeps his body, his undead body, powered. Um, all steampunk technology. And so uh, Josh did this extremely cool diagram, and I'm trying to stick to this uh, pretty closely. So I have started working on it. You can see I, I imported his uh, image in as a, as a background plane, and I've started putting these parts in. They're not exactly like his. I'm doing a little bit of modification just for you know my own um, artistic style. And they're obviously not right on the chest yet. I'm going to get all of that done. And then once I have uh, I've enough of this created, uh, I'm going to send all these over to uh, ZBrush where I'll, do, where I'll do the sculpting and detail work on the character and get those all aligned on him. So I've only started a few of these. Uh, I want to get some of these other uh, big parts done. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm do going to do with the blue and green parts. The blue is stuff right beneath, uh, kind of be is basically right beneath the skin, kind of a, a metal mesh to keep things in place. Um, and the green is beneath that, the things that might be visible from the surface. So I'm not actually sure how much I want to have shown inside um, his body, but I'm gonna, you know, I'll get it figured out. There will probably be some things visible. Uh, I want to keep everything as anatomically accurate as possible, and um, and that's gonna take um, some work. You know, as as an artist, I have learned anatomy from the inside out, uh, particularly bones, muscles. Um, and the most important things for artists to remember most of the time are how things look on the surface and how they affect the surface and you know when when muscles and bones move how they change and how that looks and so some of the deeper muscles um, you don't tend to remember as well and that you know and the uh, internal organs are not um, depicted so often so since I'm going to be showing probably showing some of that, that's some extra uh, research I'm going to have to do, which is fine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun and enhance this. In any case, so that is what I have. Uh, I was just working on that for the last hour or so, getting those parts built. And see some other things I've done this week. I'm going to head over to... Well, I'm going to pause this and open uh, another file and, get, and show you. Okay, right now I'm opening up uh, the work I've been doing on the head rig for my uh, facial expressions, uh, fa head sculpture and facial expressions class. Um, looks kind of complicated, and it, it kind of is, but um, some of this I may have shown in another video. I'm not 100% sure. But in any case, so here's uh, Creed's head uh, as it was when he was alive. Uh, if you've been watching this, you know he is an undead uh, character. Um, I'm going to as <laughs> actually as you saw in the last picture, he becomes undead. But I'm but for my head sculpture class I'm working on how he looked when he was alive, which is a good basis for me and uh to to work on the other stuff. So I'm bring those things in. One thing I did recently was this cool eye control. You can see his eyes follow that. This facial control has, it's basically you can select it and then control the face with uh, these settings here. I've been working on blend shapes. I've shown, uh, the, uh, I had se at least several videos talking about blend shapes. And so here you can see that they are attached to this. And I can choose them here on the right and modify his face this way. All kinds of fun things. Um, in order to give a little bit more control, we did these uh, controls here, which are attached to joints that influence his face. 
So I have the brow raising blend shapes, for example, but now I also have these, which allow me to raise and lower the brow, and do this and, and all sorts of things. So it gives an, an extra degree of uh, control having these. This is for the cheek, and there's a bunch for the mouth. And it looks like I have to tweak something here. That's okay. Uh, okay, so that's how that is coming along. Okay, now over to ZBrush. Um, I really want to get more done on Anna Lynn Boyd this week. She is the female lead in my uh, in my thesis in the story. Uh, she's, I think, coming along nicely. I, I uh, fixed a few things, uh, softened it up here a little bit on her uh, rib cage and on the um, radius here. I, this was pretty sharp, and I softened it. And those are my neighbors walking by. Um, I got the face, I think, looking quite a bit like her, and I added in uh, eyeballs in order to uh, help um, get the eyelids fitting better. You can see there's some space in here, but there is on, on your eyes too, so I need to get in the, the little bits that are in the eye there. The one of the things I really wanted to show here, though, is that I worked on her uh, UV map, and I think I did some really good improvements on it. So, go to the Z plugins and the UV master. I can say work on clone and flatten, and this shows her UV map. A UV map is uh, basically the character flattened out. If you think of um, so that you can you can do textures in images and then import them in and they'll be wrapped onto the character. Uh, if you think of um, patterns for clothing, it's kind of the same idea. You know, you have these um, you, you cut out flat areas of fabric, sew them together, and they will bend and curve in certain ways and to, to fit a person. So um, yeah. it took quite a bit of work to to get it laid out how I want. One of the things with UV Master is that um, you can uh, create the UVs for a mesh and say you really like how the body looks but you want to do work on the head. Um, you can't lay out, uh, just say, okay, now only do the head but leave the body how it is. It's, it's going to redo the body too. So the trick is to get the seams, at least what I've discovered is the trick is to get the seams where you want them and to get them separated out uh, properly and then to have it do this. Um, I had a, I have a previous video where I showed one way to do the seams and I actually figured out a better way to do it. So, uh, and I will possibly do, I may, I may do a video on that soon, uh, maybe even a tutorial. But in any case, I was able to split the seams along the ears and, uh, and that got the head to look much, much better. Uh, so actually here, so the face has very good uh, even UVs. Um, the ears are split off. Uh, this is the inner ear and some of the bottom part of the ear. Um, depending on how the texture looks, I'm not sure if I'm going to reattach it or not. I may. Uh, not to the head, but to, uh, to, them, to each other. Um, those are the nostrils. They were causing the, uh, the, you know, which go into the head, and that was causing the head to uh, come out uh, a little misshapen, so I moved those off as well. Um, you want to really watch where you have seams uh, on a UV mesh because they may be sort of visible on the final. I mean, you really have to get your uh, your texture right for them uh, not to be, which is is doable. But uh, what I ended up doing here, though, since some of these areas are going to be on, on the, uh, her arms and legs, tops of her legs, will be covered anyway. When I did the clothing, is I decided to split off the arms and legs. Um, and the head's going to, you know, top of the head's going to be covered with hair. So here's the top of the head. I split that off. Here's the inside of the mouth. Um, and this way, I was able to give them much more UV space, which means uh, better texture and in the end, more better details on the texture. So there's that. I'm actually, I plan to start working on her, uh, on her clothing this week as well. So that's the next step for her, as well as continuing to, to work on the uh, details on her. 
Okay, here's one of uh, Josh's concept sketches of uh, Anna Lim's clothing, so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, you know, she's a, a brothel madam, uh, so, you know, very sexy, but she, you know, she's got these steampunk goggles on. I may add in some more kind of steampunk uh, style on her. Uh, her character's, I think, very interesting. She's a, not only a brothel madam, but she's an inventor, which is, and she's the one who brings uh, Bodacious Creed back to life. Uh, so both of those things are, are important parts of her character. And yeah, so the, this clothing is what I will, one of the things I'll start working on this week for her. Okay, and finally, the other thing I wanted to show back here in ZBrush is uh, some more on Creed himself. Okay, let's see when I bring him in. If I go to the Subtools layer, there are lots of parts on him. Um, I'm gonna, some of these I need to rename, but that's okay, I know what they are and they're in there. Um, I showed that uh, recently that I did his eyes, and uh, if you've seen the mechanical parts and the bones, so, um, or the, the, the muscles and this bone in a previous video. Um, so today one thing I added is I went ahead and uh, got this part of his skull in, because that's going to be visible. Um, the zygomatic arch and the beginning of the jaw here. Um, I'm not sure with this part of the skull if I'm going to do the frontalis, which is the muscle here, and the temporalis, which is there, as separate objects, or if I'm going to um, sculpt this bone mesh and have them uh, as, as part of that. Um, so that's something I have to figure out what's going to work best. But yeah, and all those chest parts I will bring into here and uh, and put here and start digging in to you know to the mesh as I did with the neck and uh, head stuff here and uh, and get those uh, fitted in. So that's work I've got to do this week and work I've done and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to start working on his hair soon. I have some things to learn on how to do it. Uh, and I started playing with it, and it's 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 looking promising. I just have a lot of work to do and some learning. So hopefully I'll have hair to show you on him pretty soon as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you're curious again about what uh, this is about and uh, kind of the backstory, uh, please check my uh, blog. I'll post the link below. And uh, that's it. I guess have a good week. I'll, I'll post more later.